Hey guys, welcome back to the Clover Bacon, and today we're starting up Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. Now, I absolutely love Season 1. I, of course, did a series on that, which you can uh, very easily check out if you want to. Uh, you know, it's on my channel somewhere. Um, but I did, like, so many videos on that. And now Season 2's finally come out, and it's just... Oh, I'm excited. Uh, oh, my computer made noises. <laughs> um, right, so yeah, let's get, r like, right into this. Now, I have, I think I have, at least, transferred my save over from Season 1. So, hopefully it just continues out right. Start Episode 1. They changed the menu up a bit. Adjust it so it's barely visible. I'll do it. Like, I can't see it at all there. I can see it there, but I'll do it there just so it's like. I don't know, noticeable enough. Right, let's get right into this. I hope I get to keep my same armor from last season, my like blue and orange one, because I really like the blue and orange armor. Uh, the game series is adapted to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Very good. <laughs> I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that oh, nothing exciting one. will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled Wait, the that's world not to battle what I that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step no. of the way. No. It wasn't easy. Put the wrong armor on they me. They had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world, and their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. I like how I was doing a recap, and but he's put the wrong thing five on me. Friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Oh, oh uh huh. Yeah, it's all Lucas. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. You sound different. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. So? Well, you're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. Yeah. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. I Six forgot her name. What was her name again? Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. Oh. You did so much, Jesse. You're Olivia, a real was hero. it? But we all did, right? Olivia, yeah. yeah. I think that's right. We were all there. For, uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um. Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. Yeah. It is a good note, though. Be the best. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally oh, be Ivor done. Oh, Ivor and Harper! Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Okay. Jesse. Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel. Sir. Yeah, Olivia, I Lucas, was right. Sir, mm. so sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Mm, don't apologize. We don't need to apologize. So We're just hanging out. Yeah. Right, sorry. Uh, uh sorry. I, I, I mean, uh... 
Oh. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Okay. I like yeah. how they changed Axel uh, about that. Axel and we uh, actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for. Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. Yeah, but we're a team, guys. guys. We're supposed Come to on. be a team here. It's our adventure night. Sorry, Jesse. It's just that things are different now. You got your life, we got ours. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Yeah, Tell Petra, Olivia, you don't I even said, sound the same. Next time, for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. Well, <laughs> Petra's missing, oh, but so other than cute. that, with the Order. <sighs> I mean, honestly, Axel and Olivia didn't even play so a part in the, the last half of season Day one. Celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly tea and tea and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the fireworks Wait, who's Eligard this again? Year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. Eligard. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Wait, hang on. Yeah. This has been great. See you, Jesse. Uh, won't be the same without you guys. Ah, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. Wait, hang on, but I was Basically, wearing Eligard's armor in I'll the flashback, you know even though I didn't choose that oh, armor. Cool. So that would have mean she yeah, died, but wait. Axel died Axel. in my gameplay, I think. I tell ya. So I at least that carried luckiest. over. Yeah? Oh yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! Beacon Town, casual name. Oh, there's the micro story mode logo. Season two we're in on it. Oh, the creeper statue's there. Thing. Those leaves are moving weird. Those birds only just got added into the game very recently, so it's good that they're in here. Huh. I like this place. And there's the beacon. I realize that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I really do love this place, and it just keeps getting cooler. Right? Yeah. I love it too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. Oh, I know good. that Petra is <laughs> waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm, what's over here? Tiki head. I bet one of those would look awesome on the order hall's front lawn. Mm hmm. Oh, I can choose to walk faster. Yeah, this looks like the thing we built that one time. Jesse, dude! Oh! Mel, I thought you were Mel. out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Do you live try here? Down for a while, though. Like I love danger and daring do as much as the next person, but sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk. Yeah. Okay. Picked, well, a, great picked place. a great spot. Yeah. I'm proud of this town. Yeah, dude, <gasps> it is awesome. Letting everybody be themselves. Super individualistic house over there that looks like a squid. <laughs> Righteous. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't like fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make like a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Yeah. Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business. 
I'm surprised Mel's here. She doesn't even belong in this dimension, does she? Pretty sure she doesn't. Uh, At the end of season one, goodness. she went back to her own, so... Hmm. Wait, I get to actually choose something to build? Oh my god, this is going to be really weird. Oh my. Um... Right. Oh, jeez. Hang on, I want to I wanna get a good angle here. What should I build? Um... You know, I don't have the slightest clue. Um... How about... No, hang on. Um... Clear all. Let's... Ooh. Bottom layer, all dark blue. Oh, how do I remove individual things? Right, okay. Um, oh, need to get a different angle. This is so weird. I get to actually build things. Um, I didn't think I'd be doing that in story mode at least. I'm just gonna try and do something rather fitting, right? Do something rather fitting um, to the character. on and this doesn't look that great at all but hell uh oh well Pfft. I tried to make a wave <laughs> and that just looks weird yeah such is perfect that is some sweet work Nice. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah. Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free spirited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, total so. Reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the <gasps> mineshaft. Oh my God, mm -hmm. it's Stampy. Stampy and the other one. Uh, I have I, I I don't know why, but I really want to talk to Stampy and the other one. Whoa! Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Hey, Thought Stampy. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. I'm surprised you're here. here, though. Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Yeah. You... Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. They literally come oh, from another wait. dimension. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm it right down. He's Here giving wait. bone. Nice tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You huh. never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. Seriously, what are all these people busy, doing so here? we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Right, I need to go to the mine shaft wherever that is. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, Reuben Memorial. Look at my Reuben Memorial. For my buddy Reuben. Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. <coughs> I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. He was. I read Lucas's book pig. the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. Yeah, he was my best friend. Still miss him. Aww. Oh, my mm. gosh, it's you. Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? 
Oh, wow. This is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's uh, really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah. Yeah, Talk why not? about knowledgeable casting. I would love to. Seems like the least I could do.